I mean, we ask ourselves now, Yanish, what now? And I ask you what now? Because you'll never be drawn. You've never once said that Arsenal will win the title this season. And I want you to explain why. Well, I mean, I was doing this out of respect. I mean, you you know, uh, you've told me already uh, here and privately that, you know, to get off the fence. Uh, and so did Robert, producer as well. I mean, uh, uh, the mem that he sent was pretty funny, I have to admit. Uh, yeah, to a degree, you're sitting on the fence out of respect to a tremendous season that Arsenal has had, right? I mean, none of us expected it. They probably didn't expect it. And, you know, with the leads they had in Manchester City, maybe not at their best in this convoluted season that 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 really didn't give you uh much you know i'm talking about the world cup of course uh so i gave it out of, out of respect but i think i always felt that manchester city are a much better team much more talented much deeper and i felt that they're going to go on that run that we're seeing right now which they haven't in the past they have done it either early in the season in the middle of the season in fact manchester city used to have these great runs uh uh, against Liverpool, uh, uh, you know, uh, two or three times during the season. So, uh, but ultimately, uh, I think, uh, I think I always knew that this is a little bit too early for Arsenal. And certainly signs have been there last three games, but not just three games. The makeup of that team is nowhere near the one of Manchester City. And certainly this is not a complete team by any means. So what completes them? Well, I mean, where we start, I mean, a, a leadership in the center of the pitch. We've seen, I mean, this is an Arsenal team that wants to play their way, the Arsenal way, at least the one that we, we've we been accustomed to under Arsene Wenger. And they play some tremendous football going forward. They they take a lot of risks. They go forward. They score plenty of goals. Uh, they entertain us in, in a tremendous way. I look forward to watch uh, Arsenal play football, but in transition as we've seen it. I mean, I think Arsenal uh, conceded uh, third highest goals at home. I mean, look at some of the games. If you look all the way back to 3-2 against United, 3-2 against Bournemouth at home, uh, lost to City 3-1, this Southampton 3-3, and probably a couple others that I can't remember at, at the time. There's a reason for that. They're excited. They see the end of the line. They want, they want to show their fans how well they play, but they missed a leader in the center of the pitch. And, and that's why, you know, jumping ahead, I thought I was going to kind of weave this through a little bit differently. But there isn't one there. No matter what you say, Odegaard is not the type. Um, Zinchenko is a little bit of a wannabe, right? I mean, you know, he was just one of the few at, at Manchester City. And here we saw that, you know, after conceding a goal, a huddle. And I, you know, this is great. I think every What, what does that mean? What does a wannabe mean? Zinchenko is a wannabe. Well, I, I just don't think that 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 he carries himself in such way that everybody will just say, wow, right? I mean, he's no Rodri. I think we'll find out find that out uh, uh, on on Wednesday. He's no Casemiro, probably a few others. Uh, look, if I were if I were Arsenal, I mean, there's probably two or three or four holes that they need to fill. But if I were Arsenal, I would spend any sort of money. I, I, and I wouldn't say that maybe a few months ago on Declan Rice. I mean, there's zero question for me. Not only is a great captain at West Ham, he is exactly what they need. A number six that holds, number six that protects, number six that anticipates, number six that distributes the ball extremely well. And hey, all of a sudden, by the way, he's scoring goals, right? Because that was one of the knocks I heard Graham Sooners and many others talking about. I'm not saying he's wrong, but I mean, his primary function is to make sure that on an attacking team like Arsenal are and want to be, and fair play to them, you kill the transition, right? You protect. And I would spend well over 100 million uh, on Declan Rice. He knows the league. He's English. He understands the mentality of this league. And he would be, for me, perfect, perfect player. I wouldn't look for anybody else. Yes, there's Caicedo, right? I mean, there's talk about Caicedo and Declan Rice for many teams because they're good players. But they still don't, don't, uh, uh, you know, don't have the function of of De what Declan Rice does. And this is the biggest problem that Arsenal have. If they had Declan Rice this season, would you be off that fence? I would be probably, yes. I don't think that we'd be seeing Arsenal conceding that many goals. I mean, a lot of them in mistakes. I mean, you know, the Southampton one, I, I don't know if it's Declan Rice or not. You know, I mean, if you have, run, you know, a minute in, you you concede a goal like this uh, in terms of distribution and all that. But I, I would feel much more comfortable. And I think out of the last three games, I don't think they're 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 losing so many points for sure. 
it still doesn't mean that at, in this at this stage Arsenal would have won it because I still think Manchester United is far and above everybody. It's not even close. The ta table tells you otherwise, but I think everybody that understands football would, would, would understand that City are far superior. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.